All right, welcome to another Unpacked Pittsburgh podcast. I'm here with Jimmy Big Muscles. Jimmy, thanks What's for up? being here once again. Thanks He's the most requested <laughs> co-host that we could possibly have. And we are blessed today to have Jill and Rachel, founders of Dating in Pittsburgh. Hello. Welcome Hi, to thanks the for having us. Of course. This is technically part two. First time we <laughs> tried it, we had some technical difficulties. Someone's allergic to cats. It was a mess, so we're going round two. <laughs> First time was so fun, so we're going to try to emulate that. Um, but why don't you guys kind of just kick it off by talking a little bit about yourself and dating in Pittsburgh. Perfect. Yeah, so we are best friends. We're mm -hmm. 27 years old, yep. and we are both single. We started dating in Pittsburgh because we saw a need for a way to meet people in person. We were kind of sick of the dating apps, and yeah. we just got together one night and came up with it. So Yeah. We started. We started it in like late November, early yeah, December. Yeah, end of November, early December. Yeah, I'd say. And we've yeah. had three events now, so it's going really, really well. So yeah. fantastic. So why don't you guys walk us through the events, where they were, how okay. you kind of chose who comes, and kind of just tell us about the whole process. Yeah. Okay. So our first two events we had at the Standard downtown, and we did for that one. What was it? All ages. We started with, we just wanted to do like a younger demographic because oh yeah. that's what we knew. But mm -hmm. then once we started posting it, we got a lot of feedback that people were like, wait, we want an event too for more of the like 40 plus crowd. Yeah, so we did like 35 and up yes. for the second event. And that. <laughs> the good crowd, I would like yeah, to say. Yeah. The good crowd. And both and of those were great. Um, yeah, they were a good turnout. And, and then our third event was at Coupe de Ville. Mm -hmm. And that was. All ages, 23 and up? Yeah, 23 yeah. and up we did. We, we've we been sort of playing around with the ages. Because to see what works the best, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I would say Coupe de Ville, we sold like 200 tickets. So. Yeah, it was, Coupe yeah. was really crazy. It was, okay. it was crazy. Whenever it was a lot of fun. We started this, we were like, I don't know that anybody's going to no, sign up. No, we didn't know if anyone would sign up. We had no idea. So, we were just like, we want to yeah. do this because we were like... We need to meet people. We need to meet people in person. Like, we're sick of the dating apps. And then, yeah, 200 people signed up for Coupe Yeah, it was Ville, insane. So. Damn. We're really yeah. excited to see what the future has for Dating yeah. in Pittsburgh. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so what does the future have? Like what upcoming events do you have on the books? And is it sold out? Can people still get tickets? Mm -hmm. Walk us through. If there's somebody watching, single, they mm -hmm. want to come, mingle, where do yeah. they go? Um, next Friday, March 8th, we have an event at PINS. Mm -hmm. and that's from 7 to 9. You can still sign up. It's Southside, right? Yes, Southside it's works. in Southside Works. Um, yeah, you can still sign up. We're still selling tickets. That one is ages 23 to 45. Yeah. Um, and we've already sold over 100 tickets for that event, but mm -hmm. you can still sign up. We Yeah, definitely. It depends on the venue based on how many tickets we can sell, but we've reached out to them and they've told us that um, we can sell as can many as we come. want. Yes, yeah. so definitely. And they can buy tickets on, if you come to our Instagram, um, our link tree is right in the bio and we'll put all of our events right there. What's your Instagram? Yeah. Dating in Pittsburgh at Dating in Pittsburgh, all one yeah. word. <laughs> and you guys told us already, but it's a mm -hmm. good ratio. Whether yes. you're a girl it looking is. to meet a guy or a guy looking to meet a girl, I think that's huge. It's not that's lopsided. Important. That's important. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because I mean, whenever you're looking to sign up, you know, nobody really knows. But, right. But it's going to be a good turnout, and yeah. it pretty Should much be. has been for yes. all your events. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We really do try to go out of our way to make it like as even, even. as possible yeah. and like certain ages. Mm -hmm. And we did have a couple of people sign up for like Coupe de Ville that were maybe like a little bit older than the demographic. And we did message them to let yes. them know. So we're always looking for that. We did reach that. out. Yeah. So I know a little background knowledge from podcast one that will never be shown. <laughs> um, the um, There were some advantages and some blessings in your events that weren't just people meeting their significant other, right? Mm -hmm. I believe even some of the girls just became friends. Oh, so yeah. It's yeah. Like there's a lot of positives other than just potentially meeting a significant other, getting mm -hmm. out, networking, having fun, but also yeah. potentially meeting some friends. So that sounds like a, a no-brainer to come to you guys' event. Yeah, we went out after one of our events and we saw a group of girls that met that night. Yeah. And they all went we out. We thought and, like, they were like all friends. friends. And no, they, were, like, they like had met that night and met. like we didn't meet a guy, but we all became friends. So And that was something that I was telling you guys I just think is so important. Mm -hmm. Like you if you're in a relationship, it's great to be friends with people that are single, single. and people that are in relationships. Yeah. And if you're single, like it's definitely important to Helpful. have those single connections as well. Mm -hmm. So that was so great that they met people. Yeah, that was awesome. That's I'm ex I'm gonna be filming and we're gonna do a highlight at your event. Um, hopefully, we're gonna ask some questions about favorite restaurants, favorite bars, maybe mm -hmm. favorite date spots. Yeah. What would you guys say your favorite restaurants, bars, and 
if there was going to be someone out there, by the way, these two girls are single. Um, <laughs> if someone was going to take you on a first date, where if, if you could pick anywhere, where would you go? Well, our first, favorite place. What's our favorite place? Hut Shack. Hut Shack hey, is a great, right, if you're looking shack. for an activity Love for the date, shack. activity date, activity Hut Shack is a great, it's a great place. I think Hut Shack should, Golf Hut Shack should sponsor you. Yeah, <laughs> and us. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to yeah, come, too. We that love Pachak. We do. We love Pachak. That's a good activity day, for sure. And you could DJ there. <laughs> yeah. We were talking oh about DJ there one night. <laughs> Let's all go. <laughs> so, yes, Pachak's yeah. really fun, but Rachel's, like, amazing at picking restaurants. You are. You always give me good ideas. Okay. So, like, so um, name a we restaurant. love PA Market. Right yeah, the PA the Market in the oh, Strip. That's fantastic. We love it. I really that's like, like it there. That's, like, with upstairs. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and then in the summer, they have the whole outdoor area. We haven't highlighted that place yet, but we need to. For sure, that's, yeah. a, that's a bad yeah, it's spot. Yeah, I love that place. Have you been there? PA Market? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. It's in the strip. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really it's nice. It's really close to that uh, sub place you sent me. It's kind of in the oh, between really? Smallman oh, and like, wait, where wait, the terminal. Wait. Is it like where it's a bunch of different... Yeah. Yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I was in there before. You're yeah. going to have yeah. to take your girlfriend on yeah. a date there? Mm -hmm. Yes. She's behind the scenes right now. <laughs> <laughs> wait, are you eating the cat treats? <laughs> oh, I thought, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. She's on cat duty. <laughs> what like, were we saying about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You didn't cut through. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's all going down there. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of X, now I'm just flying. <laughs> oh, no. in the first pod, yes. Um, so, <laughs> kind of let's w walk someone through. So, I would say, and uh, how, would I, how would you guys like a dating experience? Like, uh, what would you guys call your events? Like, a uh, Singles. We do like singles single happy hour. Yeah, okay, single so happy single hour. Single That's happy hour. That's what we've done so far. Happy so I hours. would say that there's probably a lot of people who want to go, but mm -hmm. are just initially intimidated. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's gonna be awkward if like, yeah. especially like like someone like me who doesn't have a lot of single friends. Yeah, yes. like yes. like you roll solo and you're like you feel already self conscious. Mm -hmm. You're like I'm gonna be stu I'm gonna feel stupid. Mm -hmm. um, how would you say? And I'm talking for myself, not people out there. But like <laughs> like someone who wants to go, but like needs a little encouragement or yeah. walk them through the lay of the land of what they could expect. But I think a lot of people do feel that way. We've had, yeah, people we've had people message, message us, us about it. Yeah. And a lot of people do sign up alone, which I, most pe I would say most by. people sign up alone. Um, so everyone's kind of in the same boat. Yes. You know, sure. everyone there is single. Everyone's there for the same reason. Yes. So that's helpful. That's a huge piece because mm -hmm. we were saying like, if you just go out to the bar to try to meet someone, like you never know. Yeah. You don't like, know who's single. Intentions or what. Right. Yeah, so, that could go south real quick. Yeah. Real quick. Right. So at the events, like everybody said, like people, Right. there for genuine connections so that's a huge yeah. thing and we do like icebreakers yeah we hand them out when we check them in and that's like a way for them to start talking okay. to people yeah so that's helpful like if you don't know how to initiate a conversation how about name tags you do name tags we, we are did gonna um, have name yeah tag we're gonna do name event. tags yeah. People have said that people, they would yeah, so appreciate I'm a name tag guy. I'm, right, I'm right, on team name tag. Yeah. We're I, learning as we go. We've got a lot of feedback. I my own friend's names. So. Yeah. <laughs> that people do want name tags. So yeah. we're going to start that. And like the icebreakers, Rachel came up with the last ones. And mm -hmm. the first one was like a bingo card. So you can go up and ask someone like, do you sleep with the TV on? And it's just like an, it's an yeah. easy way to talk to people. And everybody has loved that so far. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to continue to do that at our events too. So. Yeah, people like that. Definitely, it's it's supposed to be chill and low pressure, even though the situation of dating mm -hmm. is a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, but the events are meant to be low pressure. Do you guys have some, like, data on has, or your previous events? Has anyone met a significant other? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a few people. Yeah, there the have alum been a few from dating That have reached Pittsburgh. out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, we're so that have gone on dates yeah. or are now we know someone that we, yeah, we they're actually, actually dating. Our boyfriend, girlfriend. Yes. Well, you have to. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, we have to. You guys have to like keep in touch with them. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. But down, yeah. The, down the yeah. line. We have we have a TV yeah, like commercial. At their wedding, <laughs> I better get like, to give no, a TV. No, we better get to give a speech. Look at this success story. It's our first success story. I think a nice thing though about your guys' events is that it's like it's relaxed and there's not yeah. like a prompt. I no, mean, like if I was it's not like speed dating or anything like that. I would never want to go to one of those speed dating things. Like no, no, and that's like I'm just saying like obviously that's I'm not intimidating. Single, but Whenever if we I were, was, that would just seem so awkward to me to like yeah. do things where it's like okay, you have 30 seconds, talk real quick. Okay, you have 30 seconds, talk real quick. I yeah, know. it's I would uncomfortable. Never, I would never want to do anything like that. But your, mm -hmm. yours is just yeah. like. 
If you want to talk to people. If I can imagine, it's just like a fun so event. I can see like advantages in that, though. I'm not going to lie. I could see some advantages. Yeah, but it's not for everybody. Because you get 30 seconds right. like where like you don't nice get like stuck in a conversation. Because a lot of times, I get stuck in conversation. I just want to leave. If there was like, <laughs> I wish I could have in every conversation in my life 30 seconds. Like, time's up. I got to yeah. go. Yeah. But like, I get what you're saying. But like, if you want to go back and talk to them, how do you do that in that kind of scenario with you guys right. like with your icebreakers you could do okay whatever your question is mm -hmm. you find it and then you could either choose to stay yeah. or you could say i gotta go get my next right kind of thing. yeah so yeah kinda, exactly kinda, yeah, that's like a good way you, you kind of let them decide if mm -hmm. they want to chat i feel like not. they can meet in more of like an organic way yeah it's, it's kind of like just going to a bar but then you know everybody else exactly it's a single. It's a single which is yeah. nice. you don't have to like go up to somebody and they're like oh i have a boyfriend or I have yes a boyfriend. exactly you know. exactly that's makes and that's nice. already intimidating to like approach yeah. somebody in that yeah. setting mm -hmm. um but whenever we were like starting dating in pittsburgh that's mm -hmm. something that we noticed like there are those um speed dating type events mm -hmm. but there was nothing there's nothing really like what we're doing like what so. we're doing so mm -hmm. yeah that's cool, and it sounds like you guys found a niche. It found, I mean, great companies. You know, I'm more in the tech space, but a lot of innovation comes from like a need, right? Like someone said, "I want this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go build it because it's, there's not a good one or a sufficient one." And you guys are both single, and you guys said the apps suck, mm -hmm. um, and the dating scene and the opportunities isn't there. So you guys went out and created this dating in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. So kudos yep. to you guys, and Thank other you. people yeah. are you know, finding their significant others or people. So I have to ask, because I'm sure for people who are watching on YouTube, if you're listening on the pod, um, you two are single. Um, we are. Do you guys cherry pick talent? Like when a dude <laughs> walks in, you're like, shit, I got this one. He's like, I'm taking him off the icebreaker. What? No, everybody oh, the <laughs> everybody Wow, man, the that was a longer pause yeah. than I expected. <laughs> I mean, okay, we can recognize when someone's attractive. Yeah. That's fine. Game People recognize do, like, game. I we've did. been very, like our last event, we were so busy that we really we couldn't talk mm. to anyone because it took forever to like check people in and... You yeah, know, we didn't organize it at the first event. Um, my parents like did come and help us because mm -hmm. we just didn't know how it was going That's to cool. go. And then yeah, we, that was helpful. It was. But then Coupe de Ville, we did it. We thought we could do it totally by ourselves. Well, a lot of people. But it was like double the more than double yeah. the people that we had the first time. Mm -hmm. So, oh my gosh, yeah, it was so really it was a lot. Crazy. So we didn't really get to have the time to talk to anyone. But yes. people do like come up and talk to us. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're working, your parents are there. They could go grab some people they think you'll like. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, no, hey like, all right, that. come back over here. <laughs> that would be Italian type. <laughs> hey, hey, Jimmy, come here, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> a sweet girl, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I was just saying that, it was hard to say it without an accent. Be like, come meet, come meet my dog. Come meet my dog. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you would love my son. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So mom and dad helped out. Um, yeah. yeah, that was helpful. And how long are the events? Um, our last event was two hours. The first two we, were three hours, and yeah. we felt like that was a little long. Yeah. So we're just kind of seeing what yeah. works. But and people, it's not like people need to leave no. after yeah. two hours. People usually stay and hang yeah. out and like go yeah. out after or yeah, something. Because two hours right. really isn't that long with as many people as coming. You already have a hundred plus people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's there. Let's say there. Let's say it's fifty fifty. You know, ratio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fifty people you need to talk to. Yeah, that's one minute, basically an hour. We'll go, you know, around there. Yeah, our last so event like we did feel was like person. honestly too short, though. Yeah, it, like we're yeah. trying to figure out what is going to work. Best. Yeah, no. yeah. We'll see. Yeah. It's cool because it's a bar environment, and once you so let me ask you this: so like when you do like you're doing pins, but we'll mm -hmm. use coop or something like that where there's other people. So like when yeah. your time ex expires, like you can keep ro you can yeah. keep yeah. going. And if you're single, it's kind of like the perfect environment because in your controlled environment, it's all singles. Yeah. But then, yeah. like, once your time, I assume it starts to, like, dilute with other people. Like, mm -hmm. you guys don't do bracelets or, like, how do you know? We, like, do. we do. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay, cool. So yes. you could spot, like, yeah, you're single. Yeah, you'll know okay. who is right, with us. Cool. Yeah. And also, like, we, not... like, after the two hours, we saw people. Then we were like, oh, you were at our event and talked to them yeah. after and everything. Yeah, yeah um, usually most people stay. Yeah, for sure. And just stay at the and bar. It was really nice last time because we are like a newer company to get our name out there. Like people were like, "Wait, there was a singles event here earlier yeah. tonight." We were yeah. like, "Some yeah. people saw it when they were walking into Coop, and then like they would a, sign up." You guys should get like a sign with balloons and like let up, like because if I like if I was single with my boys and I'm out, I'm like, "Oh shit, we just hit the lottery." There's a singles event. Yeah, you know what I mean. People like, have done that. People yeah. Yeah. like at Coop to Bill, There was a group of guys that saw it and were like, "What is this?" We told them. They're like, "Okay, can we sign up right now?" Yeah. yeah. Are there people who sign up specifically to talk to you? I mean, I already know the answer, but I have to ask it. 
Yes. The DMs. <laughs> the DMs yes. are. <laughs> they yeah. say yes. Yeah. Yeah. They say yes. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> That's cool. That is true. Keep trying, fellas. Keep trying. <laughs> um. <laughs> so let's talk. I mean, we're going to keep this a little shorter than last time, which was three hours and 54 minutes. <laughs> oh um, <laughs> With lots, gonna, of, lots of different like stops. <laughs> and stops yeah, and yeah, it was chaotic. And pauses. Yeah. I don't even so, know what we were talking about at one point. Like, yeah, I'm not it sure. It went either. a little off. But um, let's so obviously unpack Pittsburgh. We unpack the people, places, products, and events that make Pittsburgh so amazing. So let's talk a little bit about Pittsburgh. Um, are you guys both from Pittsburgh? I am. I'm from the North Hills. Okay. That's where I grew up. I'm from like 45 minutes outside of the city originally. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So you guys have been here for a while. Name some of your like top restaurants. And Jimmy, you can jump in here, but the caveat's mm -hmm. always you can't have worked with them. They can't have employed right. you. Jimmy, <laughs> well, you know what? Let's pause while I'll give you time to think. I kind of put people on the spot a lot. So you guys think about your favorite bars and restaurants in Pittsburgh. Okay. okay. Uh, Jimmy, give them a little plug about yourself. I mean, All you right. do everything. So. Well, we mentioned that ones I don't work with already. So I do social media marketing for businesses in Pittsburgh, and I run their socials, make sure they're promoted in the right way possible on all social media outlets. I DJ, too. And uh, then I have my own influencing and content creation business. You're a very humble yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a business out there looking to up your social media, Jimmy's your guy. If you got a bar and looking for a DJ, Jimmy's your guy. If you want <laughs> to create an Italian food and you don't know shit like me about cooking, <laughs> you can buy recipes from Jimmy. So, you Jimmy, can, what's your you handle? Jimmy Big Muscles. And if you want DJ Jimmy, it's DJ Jimmy or DJ Jimmy underscore four and two. All right. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, I, buy, I bought you enough time. Jimmy Big Muscles, guys. Come on. Give him a round give of applause. Up. Yeah. Yay, you guys should start getting hair ties because you, you guys are covering your brand. I'm just letting you know. Oh, you're right. You know what I mean? I'm just, I mean, I'm not a marketing okay. guru, but I'm just saying. It's all right. Um, okay. Anyway. All right. All right. I bought you enough time. Let's hear it. Bars, restaurants, favorite in Pittsburgh. Okay. Babe, I need. Favorite restaurants. I love the mm -hmm. Warren. Downtown. What? Huh? Oh, I, I was going to group up right here and try to pick our favorite restaurant. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Are we still recording over here? She's over here eating cat treats okay, getting good. fucked up. I, like, okay, good. <laughs> we're not redoing this a third time. Yeah. No. yeah no, 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 no. <laughs> we're, I don't care what you guys yeah. say right now. I don't care as what long Gordon as recording. Yeah, say. We're good. We're posting this yeah. shit. Okay, great. Okay, favorite restaurants. I'm checking the audience. I love the Warren downtown. Mm -hmm. Whoa. For sushi. Shout out Spencer Warren. He's a fantastic guy. We did uh, uh, the pop up miracle. I think it was oh, called. Okay. Great guy. We yeah, got nice. Yeah. Good dude. Good dude. Nice. Um, cool. Barcelona wine bar. They just put that in mm. oh, downtown. So I just yeah. went uh, last week. Where, actually, that's it? where I was. Um, Friday. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Tora Jelly behind the scenes. She's been eating cat treats. She got messed up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we got one girl eating cat treats. One allergic to cats. Um, so anyway, about this damn Pittsburgh pokey <laughs> event, um, Pittsburgh pokey, try it. And then, so then I finally saw Jimmy do his mm -hmm. DJ thing. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. to admit, did, How was it? Uh, we haven't really talked since then, but your setup is sweet. First of all, like you're yeah, all cool. guy. Like he was trying to like, I was trying to ask questions, but I didn't want to be the annoying guy. Like, Oh, what the fuck <laughs> is this? And he was like, <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, Doing his I, thing. Like, I might not be looking you know at you, but I'm listening. Yeah. I was like, I'm listening. I just like, can't look. Like, he would be like in mid sentence, just stop and put the headphones on. I'm like, who the fuck's he talking to? Like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just leaning up like a doofus. Like, everyone, like, oh I'm cool. the guy in the DJ booth. Like, this was silly. But it was a lot of fun. That was at Jekyll. Um, and no, I mean, like, it was fun. It was like the crowd was. Like I don't, I've never been there before, so I don't know what the yeah, crowd yeah. was compared. But like, you made a really interesting point. Like you're always one. It's like one group away from being packed or empty, and it was <laughs> yeah. just so cool to be That's in the true. DJ booth. There would be like this group of girls come in. They would be dancing. They would leave, and the energy we had sucked out. And like <laughs> ten <laughs> seconds later, another group would come on, and they were yeah. just like, "Everyone's great." And they would get. I'm like, this is crazy. Yeah. It's interesting to see it because most people never think of that when you're at a bar. Yeah. You know, right. Like looking around, like, okay, you see some people come in, and then you have to, like, get certain people to dance. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like, a rule of thumb for all DJs, you got to get the girls dancing first. No. No. If the girls shit. dance, then the there's yeah. That's the rule of life. <laughs> yeah. The if, the, if the girls aren't dancing, that makes sense. If the girls yeah. aren't dancing, then. then. It, and that's the same thing for your rule. There's no energy. I mean, if you guys don't have girls come to your events, 
You know what I mean? Like the, if the ratio is better, vice versa, yeah. If the, I, if, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's true. You definitely, but like if it's more guys to girls, I feel right. Maybe I, maybe I'm being stereotypical. Yeah, and I'm not even just I would saying agree. that because yeah, I'm a guy. Like. I feel like even if you're a girl, it's probably better if there's more girls and guys. Yeah, because I agree because the girls are willing to like make friends. That's yeah. exactly what yeah. I, that's exactly what I was getting at. Like it can be more fun. It's just more. Yeah. If it's like a bunch of dudes, they'll just like shut down and be like, "I'm out." Yep, yeah. that's exactly yeah. what will happen. Yeah, so because guys won't talk to each other. No, no, yeah, they, they really, might, but not like, but not, not really. Like girls will. Yeah, the right. Girls they're not going to become so not in that type nice. of setting. You know no, I mean? not in like, that setting. Because they're there to meet somebody. Yep. Yeah. So that's their competition. You know they're, like, <laughs> they're about to cut that dude's throat. Exactly. They're looking around, me like, I think I could fight him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No fighting in our events. All right. So we did your favorite. How about coffee shops? I'm curious. Let's. Oh. I want to start doing more coffee shops. We we talked about this last time though. And, we did. And somebody said no coffee shops. They hated it. Well, was well, I just don't want to go on a first date there, probably. Yeah. Oh, we said no oh, for first coffee. Dates. I mean, first it's dates. fine okay. if you don't like right, drinking. Let's, let's, let's redo that in okay. quick answers. Okay. Just yeah. in case, yeah. you know, George Jelly forgot to hit record. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the um, best first date. Do you guys answer that? I don't think you did. We well, kind of moved off the topic, but. Best first date? No, no, not your best first date. Like, if you no, could, no, no. If where you, to go? If some just guy was taking you, yeah. a, let's say you met a guy, amazing. Let's call him Don Juan. Oh. Okay, he's not from Pittsburgh. Okay. He doesn't okay. know. He has he no idea where to go. He doesn't have Google. He lost his okay. phone. Yeah, he was leaving it completely up to you, girls. <laughs> oh wow! I want you to g- say what is the best first date you're taking, Don Juan. I think it depends on what kind of first date you want to have. Mm-hmm. No, 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 it does. no. Then there's no. Just say a place. Oh. Where are you taking him? Where, to? where am I taking him? I, I I do prefer an activity date. Okay. I do. So, yeah, I usually I do. So like putt shack is my go-to. I love putt shack. Okay. <laughs> it is. I we love do putt love putt shack. Or like answer. even bowling is kind of bowling fun. Bowling is fun. I don't know if our first still bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Arsenal really? in um, yes. Lawrenceville. Oh, bowling. I see that. All That's the time. actually really fun. They have a bar there. Okay. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so I yes. would like to check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. You, should. should. you guys should. We should. We should do a pod from there. That'd be yeah. fun. That would be a fun pod. The people cool. that work there are super nice. Super nice. Yeah. Yes. They would love that. Fun. I yes. like bowling. I just didn't know people. Have, oh, yeah. Did, I always see duck bowling now. I don't yeah. see real bowling. Right. No, they still have the bowling. And they yeah, have that's um, fun. leagues that bowl there, too. Like Pittsburgh oh, Sports yes, League. Yeah, I don't want to show up on that day. No. And I watch Big Lebowski, but I don't know. Call ahead. Do you guys have ever seen that show? Probably not. Big Lebowski? I haven't. Oh, man. I watch it. Have you I'm seen Big Lebowski? No. You oh, got, man. Girls have never seen Big Lebowski. I'm not Lebowski. a big show movie it's person. Movie. I haven't seen a lot it's of like things. A, it's like one of those have. movies that like, you could watch it and quote it the rest of your mm-hmm. life. It's oh, the okay. dude. Okay. I've definitely heard of it. Yeah. He I'm drinks white Russians. It. You know what white Russians yeah. are? Yeah. Oh, you got to watch them. You're going to get something out of this podcast. It's called okay. The Big That's Lebowski. That's what we're Every, uh, from this. Half the people watching are like, what is that? Half the people are like, what the fuck? It's one or the other. All right, yeah. so you said butt check. That's a fantastic answer. I love That's butt probably. I the also best, like but you butt can't check. use that, so you have to pick okay, it up. Okay, perfect. <laughs> well, I said the PA market and the strip. I really okay. like going there for drinks. Okay, so that's where you would take. Yeah, the probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like it there. Nice. I think that's nice. good vibes. Yes. All right, good vibes. And I we usually do like to drink on the first date. Like yeah. I drink. That's fine. Yeah. I drink. Yeah. I like drinks for a first date. Yes. I mean, like if you, you have a problem, obviously that's yeah. a thing. But like, right. I mean, most I would think most most people would, unless there's like a you know yeah an yeah for sure problem. For yeah, sure. and like then that. second date I do like to do an activity. Okay, that's yes. how I like to do it. Yes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Good answer. I Thank think, you. Yeah, I do like the activity date. I think that's something that didn't exist back when I was mm-hmm. early dating, like when the with the dinosaurs. We didn't oh. like it was more like you go to restaurants or bars. It wasn't like cool activities. Like mm-hmm. there's so yeah. many yeah. things yeah, that like have do. mixed yeah. bars and activities. Yes. Like you would go to a miniature golf thing and then go to a bar. Yeah. Right. It wasn't like, you know, you have puttery. Now it's both. We have puttery, putt check and on par. Yes. Yep. All right here. Like, yeah. Yes. And as a golfer, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> we need a couple more, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think we ever did anything with golf involved. <laughs> oh. Did we? No. Well, I've I've taken Jimmy golfing, I know why. Oh, that was different. And hit balls. That's the oh, same thing. Different. That's like top golf. Top golf would be a good yeah. date. That's, that's golf yeah. is a good date. That's top something that we're fun. looking into for our events too, like some more activity. Yeah, that would be a we're great place for you. We're trying to mix up from just doing happy hours and maybe do like events or. And we do have one at the end of March too. That's going to be a, like a watch, watch party, party for March Madness at Tom's, Tom's. Watch yeah, Party. Yeah, right, plug that. You know what would be a fun one? A good idea for you guys. What's your idea? An ice rink. Oh, ice Ooh. skating. That'd be interesting. Wow. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Like, that's we'll like keep a that in 1990s mind. Chick I feel flick. like yeah, yeah right? some people that really I'll are drive the Zamboni. I feel like I'll be pretty fine. <laughs> <laughs> You guys should play hockey. Uh, <laughs> plug Tom's watch bar. Yeah. So March 28th, we're having a watch party at Tom's watch bar, mm-hmm. which is in North Shore. Yes. That's from, I think it starts at seven. Seven. And, and then it goes till whenever. Whenever it's over. Yeah. So uh, we were originally going to do like penguins watch party, but, yeah, but it's um, like during March, March Madness, Madness is so. also going to be on. So whatever. What and date did you say? March 28th. March 28th. And this oh, event okay. is actually going to be a bring your own wingman or wing yep. woman event. So you can bring, oh, you can bring wow. a single friend, <laughs> single or in a relationship. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 <laughs> that, means yeah can... that means I'm out of the equation. <laughs> um, <laughs> that so that's I'm the 20th. Out. So that's like, that's like the second, that's probably like the second round. I think it starts yes. on the 21st. That'll be round yes. two. Yes. So that'll be cool. So that's when it's yeah. going to get a little more for betters. If, if you have a gambling problem. Google the phone number, <laughs> but like for people like myself who bet, I'll actually be in Vegas for round one okay. of okay, nice. March Madness. So, nice. so I'll be in town. So. Yeah, they said if it's nice outside, we can have it outside on their like patio oh, in the back, which okay. would be awesome. They're giving cool. us a huge, I didn't even know they had it. Oh, outside. huge I've never, yeah. I've been I didn't know either. Times. We okay. went there what like what, two weeks ago, Talked and they, the they gave us like a tour because yeah, so that's right by Shorty's. Yes. Right? It's close. right next to like McFadden's. Yeah, but, but that's close. like in that area. But Shorty's yeah. is the one that has the outside area. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Tom's uh, yeah also has a really nice outside area. So. Yeah, I didn't even realize until they showed so us. So if people wanted to either get tickets to next Friday's event, mm-hmm. um, which is a little tough because we don't know when we're going to post this, but it will be coming. What day is that? What's next Friday? I mean, March eighth. Eighth. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then now, where do they go again to get signed up? The easiest way is to probably go to our Instagram at yes. dating in Pittsburgh, all one word. And our link tree will always have all of our upcoming events right there. And yeah, it takes and you bio. right to Eventbrite mm-hmm. and you can buy your ticket. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Well, we're going to wrap soon, but there is a mystery third person. Do you want to give her a shout out? Isn't there a third yes. person? Yeah. We have another hers? person that does this with us. My sister, Megan, she lives in Cincinnati. So she kind of helps us with like the more business side of things. Yeah. Like but yeah, she's a huge help. and all of that. Yeah, contracts, stuff yeah. like that. But she's super helpful. Yeah, she's super helpful mm-hmm. and keeps us on track. Yeah. Good job, Megan. We need her. Wish Thank you, Megan. Here. We need we love you, Megan. She's in Pittsburgh. She's in where, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Cincinnati, yeah. Yes. All right. all right. Well, let's go down the line. Um, pitch yourself. So like recap, like where they can find you. Um, because some people are listening on the pod, not watching. Um, but say where they can find you. And let's ask, what would be a good final question? Let's go with your favorite oh local product. Oh. So for for example would be like mm. I might say I like buying Steel City hats even though I'm not wearing one. This is Travis Matthews. <laughs> like I know. But you could say Wiggle Whiskey. You could say Heinz Ketchup. You could say Sun Kissed. <laughs> I do love Heinz You could say ketchup. American Eagle. I'm just taking what? all the H American Eagles headquarters is in Pittsburgh. Yes, it is. I just well, can't why did think you of, say what? No, I just cannot think of anything that I would say. You could say I think there's like a Q, the vodka and boy, I'm like naming all the products here. I'm a Pittsburgh guy, if you can't tell. Permani <laughs> brothers, shit, I'll give you a layup. Yeah, I do love mm. their fries. Wow, Permani's is good. You don't like Permani's, but you like Permani's. It's weird over there. I don't yeah, like the coleslaw on the sandwich. We're back. Okay. All right, so. Should I go now? Yeah, you go ahead, Jimmy. All right. Jimmy Big Muscles first. Pittsburgh product. (laughs) This is a hard one. Yeah, this is tricky. It's hard hard to pick. I mean, if we're talking about, like, clothing and stuff, I like the 4 and 2 brand. Okay. Okay. Um, That's in Southside, right? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Support my sister, Elena Rose. Oh. That's, the, that's, that's, the, company. Out. that's she has the company name. Thing. She does. Oh, does she? So as a Pittsburgh brand, she's definitely my favorite. Um, that's a good brother. Shout out to Eddie's Haircut Shop <laughs> and uh, and Kennedy McKee's Rocks area. Oh, see, this is here yeah. we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Another, like another one of my favorite Damn. Pittsburgh brands. Uh, Trend Pittsburgh Salon down in okay. uh, Lawrenceville. All right. Well, my cousin up to too. name another salon. Oh, nice. but yeah. okay. So if you're a guy, Eddie's Haircut Shop. If you're a girl, <laughs> Trend Pittsburgh Salon. You know, and 
<laughs> but all right, and back to just introducing ourselves then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm the one that gets us off topic sometimes. <laughs> but no, 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 it's fine. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I'm make sure it, we've ever make it interesting. Uh, any businesses out there, even just uh, individuals who want to grow their own social media? I am a social media marketer, so I'll help you grow online. And uh, if you need a DJ, I DJ private events, weddings, corporate parties, What's clubs, your favorite song of bars. all time? Favorite song of all time? I can't answer that like that. What's your favorite song of all time? Just uh, name a song. First just thing that comes to song? mind. It doesn't any have to be your so- favorite. No. Just name a popular song. Favorite song that you like. A favorite song. Oh, man. Come on. Just name what's the first one that comes to mind. Is it Lose Yourself from Eminem? <laughs> we'll see. Like, and I have why like, is songs it Lose Yourself from I have songs that are just <laughs> popping in my mind. <laughs> But you were playing some good hitters, like bangers. Yeah. I put I had a few songs but then, like, to my playlist. Pop in my mind. I'm like, this is a good song, but yeah. I, this is my favorite song. By the way, I don't think I, think I have a mood. It, it does, There's and it changes. Time, right, right now, all like the songs in my head are like oh. "Hot in Here," "Pony," stuff like that. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, what would you play at a at, like a dating event? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm like thinking, like, what are yeah. like some sexy songs that you could play? Sexy <laughs> Why don't you guys have DJ Jimmy at one no, of your events? No, we, we're going to need it. We're yeah. going to need DJ sweet. Jimmy coming up. All right, seriously, we should do that because then you guys could do your little icebreakers. And then at the end, when it's over, Jimmy could get them all on the dance floor. Perfect. Woo! That would be fun. Boy, that would be perfect. Be That'd be cool. Baby making music out there. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, uh, but speaking of that, you guys were just featured in a magazine I saw. We Congratulations. were. Congratulations. Thank That's you awesome. so much. Yeah. I was just, I was randomly, <laughs> I'll tell you the, real, the true story. I jogged from strip district around the cemetery. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I drank a lot of water. So like, I need to use the restroom. So I popped into my favorite coffee shop to use their restroom. And then they have magazines there and I, the cover caught my eye. So I opened it up. The <laughs> first thing I see are these two girls. And I was like, their article is fantastic. Thank it you. Co- completely, you know, captured you, know, you guys and like your thoughts and your brand. So that's really cool. So thank you. You guys are big time. Yeah. At City Scene. It. Thank you, City yes, Scene, for we featuring us. It. That was awesome. Nice. All right. Your turn. What am I doing? We're Pittsburgh Rachel and brand. Jill. Oh, and we're Rachel and Jill. Yeah. We're dating, dating in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. We Instagram. have Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, mm-hmm. all one word dating, dating in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, all the same. Yes. Um, and our link tree is where you'll find all of our events, and it should be on all of our social media. And we post videos of us on there about upcoming events and everything, too. So so yeah. your favorite company in Pittsburgh is? It's on your shirt. Dating, Dating in, in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Hey. <laughs> the best single events in the city. That's what I heard. I just heard that. I did hear that. Well, we're going to find out next Friday. Yeah. Shout out to Grayson. George Ellie behind the scenes. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to give a Stomar Salon Spa shout out. Even though Jimmy already tried to plug another salon on the podcast. Oh. <laughs> Blast with me. Um, <laughs> two different ends. Two different ends. <laughs> but, uh, you. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys doing round two. We're definitely, I'll be there next Friday. Hey, we'll get some Perfect. content. We'll highlight yep. your business. And it's, there's so many singles out there. They're, that are struggling to meet people and yes. connection is one of the most important things in my opinion to have someone yeah. to, to go through life with it's so important and you know you guys are doing it for yourselves but also for others so that's pretty right. special so yeah thank you job. so much thank so, you. but thanks for being here um this is another unpacked pittsburgh podcast jimmy rachel jill dating in pittsburgh jimmy big muscles check them out <laughs> thank you bye